StarCraft fans, this is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another weekly edition of Mid-Rank Madness. This is a game between Makasheda and Marblewell on King Sejong Station, the latter edition. In the bottom right side of the map here, we have the Red Terran player, it is Marblewell. And in the top left side of the map, we have the Blue Protoss player, it is Makasheda. I am butchering that name, but it's close. I did look this up online to see how to pronounce that name. Apparently it is Portuguese. And apparently Makasheta here is being uh, a member of Edgy Dank Esports, sponsored by Snoop Dogg. <laughs> All right, so here we are with a PBT for you guys here in Midrake Madness. If you have not seen this before, if you're saying, Falcon, what the heck is Midrake Madness? The answer is it is an exploration of gold, platinum, and diamond level replays with an occasional master's level thrown in there too. I do like to make sure that everybody has their spotlight on YouTube. I don't see a lot of people that will cast this level of game, and I figured most of the player base in StarCraft 2 is somewhere in there. Like, those are the biggest leagues, I think. So why leave them out? Why leave them out, is what I have to say. So I am definitely giving them some love. If you would like to submit a replay to Falcon Paladin for Minrake Madness, go ahead and send it to falconpaladin at gmail.com with the subject of Midrank Madness. I will go ahead and send it to my screeners. They'll take a look at it, they will vote for the ones that they think are the very, very best, and then I will cast those, and that's what this is today. This was uh, chosen by my screeners as Marblewell throws down, is that an engineering bay? An engineering bay block on a Maka Shader. I'm going to call him Maka from now on. Attempt at an expansion. I think if you're Maka Shader right now, you just go ahead and expand up here. Like, you don't worry about this, honestly, but I guess you could chase the SCV around too. That doesn't seem the best way to do things. But it's a double gas opening for Marblewell, which tells me either he doesn't know what he's doing or he's pushing for Banshee really fast. And considering the fact that I don't see a factory... Okay, there's a factory. All right, so again, it's just lower level. The timings are off, but I really think Marblewell is racing for Banshee right now, which can be very good, especially at these levels where players don't necessarily think about cloak stuff coming their way. So at this point, Maka just really need. I mean, you're going one base right now, Maka. Which is, I guess, okay since Marble is going one base. So it's a one base versus one base play. Which uh, should be pretty good. A Zealot does come down to knock down this engineering bay. And Marblewell checking to make sure this base does not get taken. It's not. I don't think Maka has any interest whatsoever of going here. Factory just about to finish. And make me smart. Make me smart, Marblewell. Go for that uh, starport. I mean, that won't tell us anything just because starports are very popular. The lack of add-on here is a little bit concerning. For Marblewell, though. Okay, getting one here with the tech lab. That's good. And there's a starport. No, another engineering bay. What is this? Why do you need all this gas, Marblewell? You have 300 gas. This probe trying to come up and scout things out does get killed by the three marines. All the probe can really see is that. I mean, it's it's a, a, a barracks and some marines. But no add-on here. No tech lab. So there's going to be no stim, no combat shield. Just maybe these are for early defense, but the... Uh, the plan here is to go for mech, as that is a tank under production. Oracle coming out here of the Stargate. And you know what? We do have a list of Oracle names. I just don't have it compiled yet, so I need to get on that. So we can name these things as they start coming out. Also going for that robotics facility here off of... A, I mean, it's two bases. This is late, but it's going to be two base. Income tab is 25 to 27 total harvesters in favor of Marblewell. Marblewell, again, no intent whatsoever of expanding. I don't know why this is... That's a starport. That is definitely a starport. Tank getting a shot off on that stalker forces it to run away. So it's tank marine right now with no upgrades whatsoever on the marines. I mean, the engineering bay could give them plus one attack if Marble felt like upgrading it, but I don't know that uh, he does. I keep thinking Marble as a girl, but I don't know. Is that a girl name? Could be a girl name. I like the missile turret here. Again, you don't know if DTs are coming or Oracles or Phoenix are coming. And if you have a missile turret, it makes defending against all three of those things a lot easier. A lot easier. Which is why I like having just a cannon in a mineral line here if you're Protoss, but that's a-okay. It's actually a Phoenix follow-up. Two base here for the Protoss against one base for the Terran. Terran really needs to do something here. And is getting a tech lab on the starport. Continuing. Actually getting some more Widowmine production. Widowmine's on the top of the ramp. Oracle tries to get in, but the Marines shoot away. As well as that missile turret. No kills for you. No kills for you, Mr. Oracle. And the Marines just come might murder. Widowmine shot. Gets it. Oh, nicely done, Widow Mine. That was just outside its range. Just on the edge here. Got the Oracle kill. Congratulations to you. That is Warp Gate Research. That is a Phoenix on the way for our friends. And continuing. 
Continuing just pylon production, we've got sentries here. That is explosive shrapnel shells. Increases the damage of Raven auto turrets and secret missiles by 30%. Okay. All right. So we're going to see some Ravens, which is very exciting. There is one in production. It makes a lot of sense. Marines taking down this unbuildable plate structure just to avoid misclicks in the future and really should be thinking about taking expansion right now. Phoenix Ball is up to two. We're going to get three here in just a minute as soon as that Stargate finishes warping one in. And yeah, it's going to be this weird sky toss thing with some ground units against Marine Tank, Widow Mine, Raven. Ah, finally taking another command center here. Going to lift that sucker off. Lift it off and land it. Yes, going to land it. Generally, people like to get the orbital command first before they do this, but that's okay. I mean, it's an expansion. I'm not going to complain too much here in mid-rank madness. So continuing, you have just uh, more and more stalkers here. Over for the Blue Protoss player, Phoenix Cloud, like I said, is at three, with another one coming up here, and an Immortal, that's the first Immortal in production, so it's going to be Stalker, Immortal, Sentry, I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like these Phoenix are going to have a hard time doing much of anything here, lift the Widow Mine, lift the Widow Mine, no, Widow Mine shot, doesn't get it, got out of range first, out of range, this Phoenix Cloud, four of them, I mean, it's not really a cloud, it's more of just some overcast stuff here. Free SCV? Nope. Getting in range of the missile turret, getting in range of the marines. Again, the marines have no upgrades, so they're not a huge problem. What do the phoenix do die to these marines very quickly? Only three remaining here. Widow mine. Ah, oh, the widow mine killed it. Widow mine killed that phoenix, unfortunately flew right over it. And widow mine there, widow mine there. I like this defense. From Marblewell, but unfortunately it is 45 to 34 total harvesters going for a third base now is Maka. Both players spending their money pretty well at this point. APM about over 300 for Marblewell, but 296. Okay, not over, under, but still. And about an average of 165, closer to 2 right now for Maka. Impressive. Impressive APM for these guys. Again, I don't know the macro is necessarily there, but they're clicking fast, which people have said doesn't really make any difference. Uh, in the grand scheme of things. Another command center is coming up for Marblewell. Getting a plus one attack. Finally getting that stim. Did you add? You added a tech lab. Finally there. So that's good. Couple tanks on the high ground. Good positioning there. Just waiting for the Protoss to attack. Dropping. Oh boy. The auto turret harass. Wow. Killing 11 drones. 11 drone kills. The Phoenix are looking for those Ravens. They want to kill them so bad. Nicely done. Nine kills there. One kills there. Okay, so 10. 10 kills at this base. It is now 41 to 38. Total harvest should make it 39. Marblewell swings back into the swing of things with that attack. Doing a great job bringing himself back even with the Protoss player. So that was interesting. Really don't expect to see Auto Turret harass, but hey, it worked out for Marblewell. Marines and a Marauder trying to knock down these rocks. will take them some time to do so, as again, they do have plus one attack. And they do have stim, they're just not using it, which is all right. It's not really a huge rush to knock that thing down. Resonating Glaives on the way for Maka. Are there any Adepts on the field at all? No, no Adepts. I'm not sure why Maka would get that upgrade, but hey, if you plan to get some in the future, that's just fine. More and more gateways coming up. The Phoenix, do they have? Yes, they know about Graviton Beam. So that's good. They kill on SCV, and that Supply Depot is so close to finishing. So dead close to finishing. Ugh. Templar, setting up shop. And there's a, a, just a fun Guardian Shield. Must have hit the wrong key there because Guardian Shield decreases the incoming damage from ranged attacks. And I don't see any ranged attacks happening. Maybe they just feel safer under this dome. That could be what it is. It's 94 to 86 total supply. Maka is ahead here. Worker count 2, 52 to 42. Again, you know there's a missile turret here. I guess just scouting is good. Taking some shots from the missile turret. Ah, actually losing some hull damage. Can you lift that tank and kill it? Maybe. Maybe if you try hard enough, you can kill it. But here comes the Marine, the Marauders, and the Ravens going right after this gateway. Feedback! Oh, the feedback was beautiful. Some auto turrets do get tossed down, and the Immortal's going to die there. Surprisingly enough, the Immortal ends up getting killed. Another one getting tossed down. Another feedback being used as well. And it looks like Maka should be able to hold this, although... Maybe not for that Archon can't get in there. Archon, get in there! There we go. Doing extra bonus damage to these biological units. And killing almost all of them. Can he get it? He gets it. Wow, seven kills on that Archon. Nicely done. Ravens forced to retreat in shame. Third base is now established for Mar. With the Planetary Fortress, no less. More and more Ravens coming out for Marbwell. I like this. I like unorthodox stuff. So, three Ravens already, plus three equals six. Getting combat shield for the Marines. Are there many of those left is our question. Five Marines and three Marauders. 
Again, the macro is not the strongest with these players. We should be closer to like 150, 180 supply, but here at the 10 minute mark, it's A-OK -okay for Minerate Madness to be sitting around 100 or so. That is actually not too shabby. Ravens flying in again. Am enough energy here for, yes, enough energy. Auto turret, auto turret, auto turret. Killing the ones on gas, first of all. Burning down the ones mining minerals. Gonna kill these Templar. No, they timed out. They did time out. Archon is now up. Still has seven kills. I thought it would get credit for one more. But it didn't. But it absolutely did not, unfortunately, for the it. Widowmine still sitting there waiting for stuff to happen. And yeah, both these players just kind of hanging out right now. The Phoenix found the Ravens. Run! Do they do extra damage versus their light? <gasps> I don't think I knew that Ravens were light. Yeah, those Phoenix are a great response to the Ravens. Holy cow, so good. Now a fourth base coming up for Maka. Continued expansion for Maka. I'm very impressed with Maka's decision making in this game. Ground armor level two on the way. Or ground armor or ground weapons level two on the way for Maka here. And here come the Marines and the Marauders trying to take out these Phoenix and get revenge for their dead Ravens, but that high ground they cannot get to without flying. I'm pretty sure that is yes, that is locked off. Trying to take down an Assimilator, burning down one of the Phoenix as well, just a little bit. There's another auto turret attack down on here, and actually focusing on the... Yeah, focusing on the pylons. Very surprisingly. I mean, not surprisingly, they're going to attack things that are attacking them. But still, maybe a little bit of focus would have been good on the Terran player's part. Marines Marauders hoofing it out of there with Stim that is going to run off being chased by a massive Protoss army. It's 116 to 125 total supply, so Marble well has the bigger army... A lot of it's down here, though, so these guys are coming back to link up with that. The Ravens, two of them, did manage to make it home. And it's 33 probes what have been killed so far. So it's 44 to 51 harvesters. Maka has a deficit of workers compared to his opponent. He is continuing to make workers, which is good. Okay, maybe he was continuing to make workers. Kind of stopped doing it here. Uh, a little bit low on cash, I suppose. Once again, an army up, really worried about your opponent but I mean you gotta have a good worker count is what you gotta have I kind of wish in first player when you're actually playing the game it showed you what your worker count was just like total so you didn't have to add up what you've got to each of your bases in your head while you're playing I never do that I never do that and then I go watch my replays and I'm like huh I made 110 workers in that game that is way too many that is absolutely way too many ghost academy coming up for marble well what a ghost academy all right all right, we'll check this out. I'm okay, I'm okay with that. Planetary Fortress coming up here as well, and another missile turret. I guess it's not exactly super sky tossy, but the Phoenix could be a problem. Another missile turret at this level is not going to cost you the game. So definitely do that. Static defense is great at this level of StarCraft 2. And, ooh, very sneakily going under the Phoenix. Nice. So they can't run. That's good. If you attack them from out here, they will run this way. But if you go under them first and then attack them, they don't have as much time to get out of there. Because the AI is pretty dumb and will not run when it sees units that can kill it, just when it's being attacked. Do these guys have Storm? <gasps> there is Storm. I didn't see that being researched. All right. So Maka has Storm now. I just feel like the Protoss player might have this game, you guys. I just I love this composition. I love the Zealots. I love the Adepts. I love the upgrades. Plus two, plus two, plus three, plus three. Now getting started. The Archons are a nice touch. An immortal in here too, and if the storms are any good whatsoever, it's going to go very well for Amakasheda. And did I say that right? Coming right on in here, Archon first. No, Marblewell! Okay, he was focusing on the debris. And now really worried about this attack. How do you not have any any medevacs with this army, Marblewell? Oh no, the force field's kind of trapping him in there. I think they could go there, but the storms! Oh, the storms are good. And regrouping is Maka for some reason as a massive raven attack shows up at this base. Throwing him down a lot of dead probes here. A lot of dead probes. Any of them going to escape at all? Yes, some managed to escape. Two of them. Exactly two of them. The Marauders finally die. It's 36 to 58 total harvesters. Again, I like the army from Maka, but, but the economy from Marblewell is so much better right now. So much better. The Ravens with a great hit. On that base, 54 probes have been killed so far. Again, I like the Protoss's chances, but but stranger things have happened, especially in PVTs. Here comes a bit of a drop here with Marines trying to sneak on up. Plus two, plus two is on the way for those Marines, but not quite there yet. So here we are at, uh, I don't know, the drop here on the high ground. Should be able to kill some of these probes. I don't think all of them. Is Maka just going to go for it? 
I think Maka just decided to go for it. Can't catch up an economy. Must try to kill things now on the high ground. Killing a pylon here at this fourth base. An attack comes in to the potential fifth base here on this raised platform. And it's not really enough to even come close to killing a Nexus, but whatever. Army shows up to defend that. The Ravens decide to head on back home. There are how many Ravens? 11 Ravens. 11 Ravens here. And the Marines just laying waste to this fourth base up here on the top right side of the map. And there are some Adepts. But is it enough? It's not enough. Zealot here, too, trying to clean those things out. No micro whatsoever from the Terran player. A big attack this way, though. Planetary Fortress. Storm on the SCVs. Not using Storm on the units that are defending on this fourth base for Marlboro. There we go. Big Storms on the Marines, on the Marauders here on the right side of the map. And Big Storms again clearing out a lot of this bio. The Adepts should be able to clean out what is left here, assuming they're focusing on the Marauders. And not focusing on anything else, the Ravens trying to come in to assault that natural base. We'll see if they can do that. And actually, the Marauders doing pretty well for themselves. These Archons should be able to warp in here at the ex non-existent fourth base of Marblewell as the Planet for Planetary Fortress has been killed, and that's it. All the Marauders are gone. But again, another huge auto turret attack at the natural base of Makashera. 72 probes have been killed so far. 72 more auto turrets. Trying to take out this Nexus. I mean, at least take down the shields. Can you do that? Yeah, takes down the shields. And is it enough to kill the Nexus before the expiration date? It's very close. And no! 15 hit points remaining. A big Protoss attack here at the natural base of Marblewell. And yeah, just doing a great job. We've got Immortals. We have Adepts. We have an Archon in here as well with nine kills to its name. Trying to kill Ravens before they get too close. And trying to take down this Orbital Command before they get destroyed. The Orbital Command does end up falling. SCVs fleeing for their lives. More auto turret stuff over here at the 4th base for Maka. I can't believe this 5th base is alive. It was down to 15 hit points. 15. Maka decides to back on out here. And Marblewell is has 28 workers now. That's a lot of dead workers. 77 probes killed. 36 SCVs have been killed so far. Auto turrets chasing this army away. As Ravens chase them up the right side of the map here. Archon with 12 kills. Thinks about going back to attack, but there's no reason to attack those whatsoever. This base is so almost dead. I mean, not that Maka has the worker count to really saturate it right now. That natural base is dead in the water. The fourth base has four workers at it. So that's something, I suppose. <laughs> Anyway, more and more Phoenix in production. I guess maybe the Phoenix are for these Ravens, which is most of what is left here from Arborwell. 11 Ravens, 9 Marines, 2 Marauders, and 2 Tanks. The Tanks, which have not left this position on the high ground in the main base since the beginning of the game. I mean, if you can bring them along on attacks, I feel like they could probably participate. But here we go. We have Archons. We have Phoenix attacking at this ramp up to the natural base. No, they swing around, and they're going to try to take down the third... At the bottom of the map here. Ah, no, they swing back around again. Not quite sure what they want to do. What a mind shot. <laughs> Did get off here. Does get taken down thanks to the presence of an observer. We're 18 minutes into this game. Both players taking a bit of a breather. And the Ravens just generating more and more energy. The longer Maka waits, the worse this is going to be for him. Auto Turret's being tossed on down. Storms on everything. Feedbacks on the Ravens. Ravens are dying left and right here. The Phoenix especially trying to kill them. But the Auto Turret's on the ground protecting their mamas. And four or five, I think it's five Ravens do manage to survive there. Three, uh, three Phoenix managed to get out of there too. But Maka's up to 37 workers. So again, is continuing to make those probes, which is just fine. Big old warping of Zealots here at the fifth base. I guess Zealots are good. Oh, it's Zealots and Templar. And plus three, plus three on the Zealots. Man, it's going to be very useful at this point. So Marbrowell doesn't even bother. Well, actually is trying to replant that fourth base here along the right side. Ravens coming in once again. Phoenix really want to kill them. Killing one. Killing almost getting two there. But running away from the auditors that have been dropped down in this mineral line. Really wants to chase them away. Archon helping assist here. And they do. So Raven count is down to zero. That was the last Raven. I don't know... As a marine attack here at the fourth base, tries to clean out more and more probes. Are we at 80 yet? We're at almost 90 probes killed by Marblewell. Wow, the attrition rate has just been huge so far. The Phoenix don't want to really want to kill those things. Archon comes in with a one kill and is going to get three more. Boop. 
Attack on the fourth base of Maka is now done. Marboil is actually planting a brand new command center at that fourth base. Also looks like he replanted, uh, maybe sent the main base over to the natural to replant, to replant an orbital command there. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay, so what are we looking at? It's 36 to 39 total harvesters, 70 to 86 total supply. Marboil is still alive with this thing, not continuing to make ravens, not dancing with who brought him but instead going with Marine and Marauder, and why no Medivacs? I guess maybe worried about the Phoenix, but Medivacs increase the power of Bio by like 89%. They are so much better with Medivacs. I don't know why you wouldn't have any. I really don't. All right, Marines Marauders heading up to this fifth base now. They might be able to kill it here. The army's out of position for Maka, trying to come down and get rid of this fourth base. But meanwhile, again, this attack, Get the Nexus. Get the Nexus, Marbo. Get the really weak Nexus here at the fifth base. No, instead killing these Zealots that are warping in before they can actually finish warping in. And Pylon going to die here as well. Can't. Oh, there's an SCV attacking. Photon overcharge on a Pylon that was almost dead. SCVs, or probes rather, forced to fight for their lives. Immortal taking things down, doing extra damage versus those armored Marauders. And they managed to pull it off. Another attack here at the fourth base. This, uh, I believe this is going to fall once again, and it does. At the same time, Maka did manage to take down the fourth base of Marbowell. Zealots in the front. Storm on the bio. Oh, the storm. Auto turrets are here. Uh, there are more ravens. I was a liar. SCVs trying to attack here at the same time. But no, the Archons getting exploded. Lifting one of the tanks. Sentries... <laughs> And Phoenix trying to kill them while they're in the air, doing a pretty good job of it. Again, they have plus three attack, which is great. And again, it's just down to bare bones right now. A Marine Marauder attack here at the fifth base. Will this Nexus finally fall? And it does. He manages to get the fifth Nexus here. An Archon and a single Templar trying to deal with this stuff. A lot of dead SCVs here at the natural base, thanks to this Archon. 14 kills now. 54, 55 SCVs killed, 108 probes have lost their lives so far. The Archon finally gets killed by reinforcing Marines and Marauders here at the main base. Marbowell floating the Orbital Command away, bringing it back on into the natural base, and that's it. A GG from Maka. Oh, Maka is defeated. Maka Sheda is defeated, and Marbowell is victorious. Wow. I, wow. What was left? What was left? Only probes. Only probes for Maka. Didn't feel like continuing this game, unfortunately, but I guess if you lose 114 workers, that is pretty demoralizing. That is pretty 100% absolutely demoralizing on pretty much every possible level. So, I mean, Marbuel went unorthodox, 100% uh, unorthodox, went with Ravens, Marines, and Marauders without Medivacs. Only, okay, had seven in the game, but none at the end there. I don't think he made any for the last about 10 minutes of this game. Marbuel managing to keep this third base here at the bottom was very, very important. An important deal as well. And the fourth base could have been replanted by that command center on the right side, but yeah. Maka effectively had one mining base with 18 probes. Had a lot of infrastructure here in the main, but didn't feel like replanting. I mean, there wasn't a ton here for Mar. It was 10 Marines, two Marauders, and two Ravens. So, I mean, I don't know. I feel like Maka could have done it just more of a frustration quit than anything else. So, that's it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin with yet another weekly edition of Midrake Madness. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also check me out on Patreon. Uh, Patreon, rather. There is a link as well on the end slate. You can click to support me in the channel. I'd appreciate that. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter and Facebook, both at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.